Hello, Superusers. So, shout out to L. Odysseus. Sorry if I mispronounced that. For getting the challenge from Friday correct for how you can insert time signatures quickly and easily in Finale with just a double click, as well as how to program customized time signatures. So, this is his solution, and I'll just walk you through it. And don't forget to stay around till the end where I will give you your next challenge, which, if you get it right, also has a prize associated with it. So first of all, one of the things I didn't quite show you in the video is that I was in the Time Signature tool, which you can get through either the main tool palette or up here, Tools, Time Signature. And from then on, all you have to do is just highlight the measures you want to change, select down a meta tool, and double click. And Finale actually has a load of these meta tools programmed in, so if you want to find out those, you can actually go over to the Finale documentation, where it has all these different meta tools on the one page. So to show you what I was doing, I have the accessible keyboard pulled up so you can see what I am pressing on my keyboard. One through zero, those are all the different ones ending in four. So I can select like that and hit two and then double click and you get two four. Or I could hit nine and double click and you get nine four. The ones right below that, so all the way from QWERTY all the way to P, those were the same ones. The top were one through zero except for these are all with a denominator of eight. So instead of going from three, I can go down to E and that will then lead me to three eight. Same thing like I can go to six down to Y and that'll get me six eight. Or I can go nine down to O and that will give me nine eight, like that. And then A through SDF, those are the same things but the denominator ending in two. So three two is just press D and then click like that. And you have three two, four two is BF, then at the very bottom, X and C are just cut time and common time. And then comes the question of how do you customize these? So let's say I want uh, a 5-2 so I can continue the pattern A, S, D, F, and then G, G is 5-2. How would I do that? So you may remember a while back I created a video on the expression tool. Same thing with the articulation tool, which allowed you to custom define expressions where up here in the top right hand corner you have different meta tools and the way you just change them is like right now we have F as piano forte but let's say I want F as like four T C C C C C mo right I can do shift F and then it'll also open up this dialog box and then I just click the four F's and assign and now F is assigned to four F's and so I can place four F's anywhere we can actually do the exact same process in the time signature tool for time signatures. So if I wanted G to be 5-2, I just type in shift G and it brings me up to this time signature dialog box, the exact same one you use to define any custom time signature and just call 5-2, OK. And then I can press G and double click and the measure becomes a 5-2. And that is how you can quickly apply time signatures in Finale using meta tools. Now this starts to bring up an interesting topic because many of you have probably, and I for the longest time, apply time signatures as right click, time signature, and then choose the time signature or edit time signature, like that. And so it begs the question, if there are multiple ways to add in time signatures, are there multiple ways to add in other elements of music, like clefs or key signatures? And the answer is for both of those is yes, and actually, Meta tools are very similar for both clefs and key signatures. But I wanted to take it one step further for your next challenge because I think given what you learned today, you can quickly figure out both clefs and key signatures. And I wanted to focus on articulations. And so for the next challenge, going to be how many different ways can you figure out to apply articulations to notes in Finale? Personally, I counted four different ways you can apply articulations in native Finale and six if you include third-party plugins and tools. If you think you can find them, put them in the comments below. And because there is some ambiguity of exactly how to count the different methods, if you can find just four different ways between both native Finale features and plugins and tools to apply articulations in Finale, I will give you a shout out on the answer video, which in this case will be coming out on Friday. And on top of that, I mentioned that there will be a prize. So if you can find four different ways, or you find a way that even I didn't know about, and you leave it in the comments below, I will randomly select one of you, and you will get a fairly heavy discount to the course I am creating. 
all about how to use Finale very quickly and efficiently. As always, if you need help, there are some hints in the description below to help get you started. None of them will give you the complete answer, but all of them will help you get towards the next step to figure out yet another way to add in articulations in Finale. So that's it for this video. If you found today's video helpful, make sure to hit the like button so I know you want more content just like this. And each week I post new videos about how to use Finale to its fullest, so if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified each time a new video comes out.